My name is Kelechi Wokacha. I'm a specialist in environmental biology at the University of Toronto Scarborough campus and I'm also taking the U of T Sustainability Scholar at UTSC as well, which is the Certificate of Sustainability. I initially came across the program when I heard about the Sustainability Citizen Program, which is a part of the U University of Toronto Sustainability Pathway Program. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be interesting to get involved in the academic side of the Pathways Program since from what I knew when I first enrolled, the Sustainability Citizens Program was more like geared towards sustainability related events and activities on campus. So I thought it would be a good way to boost like my experience at university. I went on the U of T timetable and also the program search and that's where I found information. I looked at the certificates in sustainability and I thought this would be a good addition to my workload. So I just went to ACORN I put in the Certificate in Sustainability in the program search and then I enrolled in the program and that was really it. So I found the process really relatively easy. I wouldn't say I encountered any barriers, but I had to sit down and really plan my schedule and like how the courses for the Certificate in Sustainability would kind of slot into my already planned university schedule because I found this program the ending of second year, the beginning of third year, and I really wanted to do it, but then I didn't have that many credits left to be able to really have the liberty of choosing too many different courses. That being said, it was also kind of tricky um, looking through the courses, because while there's a diversity of courses, some of them need prerequisites. So that was difficult as well, because I had to make sure I was taking courses that didn't need any prerequisites. Because if you find this in first year, I feel like there's room to kind of explore what you're interested in and like which courses align with your goals. But since I had like less credit space, I will say, I had to make sure I was to the point with mm. the courses I selected. But I mean, after I sat down and I looked through the courses, I picked which ones I thought would align with me as well as which ones I was actually eligible to enroll in, then it was all good. Like It was fine after that. I thought this program was really great because it's really interdisciplinary. So as part of this program, I took the Introduction to Environmental Studies. I took the Environmental Planning course. I took Geographies of Environmental Governance. And I took Land, which has now been changed to Back to the Land. Courses themselves gave me a really different view from what I usually come in contact with because I'm a specialist in environmental science, so a lot of my courses are really science heavy. But then taking these courses as part of the Certificate in Sustainability was really eye-opening because I got to see more of the social science, more um, environmental governance aspects of things. So I kind of got to see how the science is bridged with like the humanities aspects of things and how like that influences policy, how that influences our planning decisions and how we can try to make the sustain sustainable development goals like a reality based on like people's needs and doing this course has really helped me to kind of broaden my experience and like my knowledge and now like when I'm still thinking of the science it's easier to kind of connect it back to the people and like how things work in the broader scheme of things so that's my biggest takeaway from the course. The most eye-opening course I took for this program was the geographies of environmental governance because we learned a lot about like indigenous leadership, um, indigenous governance, how like we have um, development projects that like the government, Canada and other proponents want to carry forward. I got to see how like there's a clash there and how sometimes like the tools we have to further development might not always like benefit marginalized groups. So like, it was really interesting to see how that like kind of unfolds in Canada, especially. I'm an international student, so before coming to Canada, I didn't really know much about how the governance kind of interacts with environmental issues and environmental science. So it was very interesting to see like the dynamics and like where we can improve because sustainability has like the science aspect, yes, but also heavily has to do with people as well and making sure marginalized people are not like 
in harm's way for development. So that, that course, I think, was really very impactful for me. Now I try to apply it to all my courses and just what I do in general in life. These courses and like just my program in general, it's not like it's all doom and gloom. Like environmental science, I feel like, is also like a subject, a program of hope because like now that we know the issues, we can try our best to like do better and like push forward for good things to happen. So I do, I like knowing the issue is really great because then you know what to avoid in the future and like take steps to like make sure people improve their decisions, whether as individuals or as a community. So I definitely think that like there's more hope than doom. Like, there's definitely a way forward and that like we can be like hopeless about things because like hopelessness has never led to action. So if we have hope, we're working together, we're coming together as a community, then we can achieve those goals and make sure like we're moving towards the right direction. So definitely I've experienced more hope during my time in this program than do. The advice I would give is to really interact with your professors because I think that really enriched my experience as part of the program because first of all, these courses were much smaller than like the large scale classes mm. I was used to. So I really had more of a chance to speak with professors and like in doing so, I like gained their experiences, their knowledge, their recommendations on how to like approach the coursework, but also like use the knowledge from the courses to actually like apply to my other courses or just my life in general. And just also approach the course and the content content with an open mind because there are a lot of things we learn and sometimes you'll be surprised happy surprised sometimes you'll be sad surprised but then like just being exposed to it like broadens your views and like your perspectives and I think that's really important for people in general to like work towards the sustainable development goals and just like to have a healthier planet and community in general I will say like if students can it would be a wonderful opportunity opportunity to just like take these courses and see like how it goes. Mm -hmm. I know that there are different types of the sustainability scholars program, but if people at U of like UTSC, U of T Scarborough, they want to like engage in this program, then I think the certificate of sustainability is a really good opportunity. Mm -hmm. And like there are also like a diverse array of courses than just what I took because like to get the certificate you need only four courses and like there are at least 20 different courses for people to pick from. So like they could get a whole different experience, but an experience that's just as wholesome. For me, like this was a really memorable experience and like I'm really glad I just stumbled upon the program. So yeah. So that would be when I took the land course, which is actually a requirement for people that want to take the certificate in sustainability at UTSC at least. So that course I feel like in itself was really memorable to me because it was a bit hands-on and like while there was theory we like the instructor for the course had her best to make sure we were actively engaging with the land because um, the whole concept, the whole premise behind the course is that you can't like really understand what's going on around you if you're not connecting with the land, with the people with the concepts that we are being taught. At the end of the course itself, we had a final project. And so, and for the final project, like you had different options to choose from, but then I chose with my team to make a sewing project. Yes. And for that, we had like, we, we decided to make a bag. So it was really interesting because we went for workshops to see how to like make quilts because our inspiration was that we would make a tote bag that looked kind of like a quilted blanket and then like the inspiration was trying to merge different cultures from UTSC because UTSC and U of T in general is a very diverse community so the goal was to try and get different fabrics from different cultures to kind, kind of make a quilt of our cultures and then the handle actually was made of like the different U of T colors as well as the different colors to signify indigenous peoples in the area so then we wove the handle and then we kind of connected it to the bag and then yeah so we made a bag and it was kind of like a merging of different concepts we had come across in class so like which materials are more sustainable to actually make a bag 
but then there was also like the more people oriented aspect of it which was like how our cultures bridge together to kind of make us more united to like further our goals and like achieve those different like things we want to achieve as a community so i felt like that was really memorable and like this is something i always tell people i come across that like if they can they should take that course because not only is it fun like obviously there's still workload and like it's not like a breeze through but i feel like just being a part of the course taking things and like trying to see how you can apply sustainable teachings into your life like it really was really memorable and i feel like it kind of changed how i approach like sustainability in general because it gave me a broader view of like how things are really interconnected yeah and it's like art based yeah of course right well it's not only art based but then you have the opportunity to make it art based from the final project the goal was to make sure that students are not just like learning about sustainability in a removed setting but like actually engaging with different aspects of sustainability and this is kind of an addition because I just remembered it but we had different classes that were geared towards um different actions of sustainability like we had a workshop where we got to work with wool and like see the different types of wool like how different like fibers can like work better for sweaters or knitted garments or stuff like that we had like a natural dyes class where we learned about how like different plants can make different pigments and like how those pigments can be used to naturally dye your clothes and how like that might be more sustainable like than artificial dyes and then we just had different like lectures on like food how to promote like health in your body and like gut health different things so it was really really interconnected and i feel like that gave me a really broad scope of things and help me understand that sustainability isn't just like oh it's not just science and to be honest it's not just people as well it's also like individual health it's about community health it's about kind of bridging all these things together to make sure that we're going forward in a way that better is people communities the planet so i definitely think that this program has guess made my education at UFT more holistic because now i'm not just getting the science but i got a bit of health i got mm. a bit of like policy i got a bit of planning social sciences so like yeah i definitely got like a different diverse array of subjects now and i can use it in different ways in my future hopefully it reminds me of a salad bowl <laughs> for different things now and like now i have a yummy dish to graduate with